Inflation is one of our administration's top economic priorities. Was it wrong to consider inflation transitory? I mean, these price spikes seem like they're gonna be with us for a while. We have to address the fact that we got to deal with the fact that folks are pay, paying for gas, paying for groceries, and are, 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 are need solutions to it. Will you commit to implementing a federal ban on fracking your first day in office, adding the United States to the list of countries who have banned this devastating practice? There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. And it's rough. Uh, groceries, the cost of groceries has gone up, the cost of gas has gone up. And it, as this is all happening in the context of two years of a pandemic, it's one of the highest priorities, actually, for the president and for me. That is called Bidenomics. <laughs> that is called Bidenomics, and we are very proud of Bidenomics. All right, we continue our, she's very proud of Bidenomics. Uh, in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, that was Kamala Harris touting her pretty radical beliefs on the economy in her own words, according to Kamala. Her values have not changed. We don't know where she stands because she's only done an interview for 16 minutes and 29 seconds or spoken. So on the issue of the economy, let me, I, just that, how many of you in this room, and you can all close your eyes so you're not looking at your neighbor, have struggled economically in the last number of years? Wow. Wow. And when I started my adult life, I, could, I struggled to pay my rent. I, you know my jobs, I've listed them a hundred times, working in the service industry and bartending and cooking and washing dishes and construction. Not McDonald's, that was a lie. Um, and I By the see- way, she didn't work at McDonald's, right? She did not, well, of course, the, we, they, we, they there's no evidence of it. Did so she far. work at McDonald's? Because so far, no evidence. I don't here's, think so, based on what I see. Here's said. my question. She wants to raise corporate taxes. She wants to raise small business taxes, capital gain taxes, estate taxes, the, the international corporate minimum tax, uh, to the point where America won't be competitive anymore. And your tax cuts are about to expire in 2025. Yeah. It'll what does this biggest, mean for the economy? What does it mean for everybody here struggling? So I gave you the biggest tax cuts in the history of our country. If you let them... If you let the Trump tax cuts expire, which she wants to do, she wants to terminate them, if you do that, you will suffer the biggest tax increase in history. There's never been a tax increase like it. On top of which, she wants to add a lot of tax. This country will end up, and I've said this a lot, and I mean it, this country will end up in a depression if she becomes president, like 1929. This will be a 1929 depression. She has no idea what the hell she's doing. What if unrealized capital gains taxes were implemented? What well, would she that wants do? to do that. This is where you have something. You don't even know what the value is. I tell you what, if that's going to happen, go out and open an appraisal company because you're going to make a fortune. That's about the only group that's going to make it, and accountants. Uh, it is the craziest idea. And remember this, very rich people and big international corporations, they don't have to stay in the United States. And they will be forced to leave for other countries. They can't afford to do a thing like that. They may have great wealth and no cash, and they're gonna have to pay cash. Where are they gonna get the cash? Uh, if they do that, the unrealized capital gain, it's, it's, you know, it's been talked about for a few years by ultra-left Marxists only. Like her father's a Marxist. Her father's a Marxist teacher of economics. Can you believe this? But if that happened, this country, and, and I think forgetting about that, that particular, she's got a lot of things that are just as bad. If she gets in, I think we will have a depression 1929 style depression. That's what I think will happen to our country. Already they've set us on a path. What, what about price gauging, as she calls it, or gouging? Well, she and, called it gauging. And, and, and what if they implement that and then price controls? Yeah. That's been tried in many times. The former Soviet Union, Venezuela, even in this country in the 70s, it yeah. was a disaster. Yeah. Every time it's been tried, no matter over hundreds of years, not just. Over hundreds of years, price controls, you end up with no product, you end up with massive inflation, 
and you end up with the destruction of and a country. how does this impact? How do high interest rates impact? How does inflation impact everybody that's here? Well, today? they can't buy a home. They can't do anything. It, your business is stopped up. You can't borrow money. And by the way, I had interest rates at 2%. Now they're 10%, but you can't get the money. You can't get the money. There's no money available. So 10% is right. You know, if you can't get the money, 10% is not the right number. It's got to be much more than that. You can't borrow money to buy a house now. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.